So here I am in King's Cross in London and I'm just going to take you for a little bit of a wander around because this area has changed enormously over the last few years. I've been wanting to make this video for a couple of years actually so we're just going to go for a wander around behind the station here. I mean you can see the area around the station here has changed a lot and frankly this is an improvement. But the other part is a whole kind of new King's Cross, a whole new area of the city really which is still emerging. So we'll go for a walk through there and then we'll explore some of maybe some of the older aspects of this area as well. St Pancras International home to the Eurostar this is like an overview we're here directly behind King's Cross Station between St Pancras Station so this is this bit is probably the most complete and then we're going to go over here and you can see most of this is under construction still this is called uh, Battle Bridge Place, of course, Battle Bridge is the old name for King's Cross, it has its origins in the uh, mythology that links the final battle of Boudicca with the Romans with this location. It's said to have taken place here, that fateful battle. There's no archaeology to support that, unfortunately. So, uh, But it is a wonderful story, and this is an area which is incredibly rich with mythology. So here is like the entrance to one of the new areas, this whole other London. This is kind of a template for a lot of development that's happening around London, isn't it? This sort of style of what I find to be quite bland office blocks. This is called Pancras Place. I'm still trying to get my head around the layout of it all actually. If you want to get an idea of what this used to look like, uh, have a look at the film, the Mike Lee film called High Hopes. Uh, I'll try and drop a bit of that footage in here. And you can see it gives you an idea of, you know, there's like uh, gasometers here, there were some council flats. Had like railway sidings, old sort of Victorian warehouses. They kept a couple of them back there. It's uh, probably when these kind of developments happen, it kind of erases your memory of everything that was here before. It's kind of almost like a kind of year zero thing where it just starts again and they wipe away everything else. You get a few fragments left in the names. the mothership, the Google headquarters. So this is the brand new YouTube space in King's Cross. I think it opened last September and I came here for an event, a creator event and got a tour I'll drop some of that footage in now. The new YouTube space at Google King's Cross. There's an open evening tonight, so it's full of YouTube. There's cameras clashing all over the place. Here's the Regent Canal cutting through, linking old and new King's Cross. And 
there's the gasometers that now house these gleaming new buildings. This is the famous Central St Martin's School of Art. What do they call it? UAL, University of the Arts London. Aside from the mythology of Boudicca and the Battle Bridge, this is also the landscape where Blake saw the temples of gold of the New Jerusalem rising from the land below the hills of Islington, looking down from up there across the New Jerusalem. And the great antiquarian William Stukeley also had an idea that there were some mounds on the other side of the road there opposite St Pancras Station and he interpreted that as being the possible location of Caesar's camp. Again, there's uh, no archaeology to support that, unfortunately. But there is something about this landscape here, with Islington, Farringdon, Clerkenwell, King's Cross and Somerstown, which really does invite uh, the imagination to kind of conjure up all kind of romances and myths and great legends. I love it. And you can find some of that material in my book, This Other London. I also did a talk here at a, a street market, a food street market called Curb Crates, where I talked a little bit about some of the mythology of this area. I'll link to that video below. King's Cross, a place of passionate and knowledgeable shopkeepers. There's something really beautifully understated and modest about that boast. something really really peculiar about this area particularly when it's in this sort of phase of transition I mean look at this piece of what public art or whatever it is that's really odd isn't it also this massive space and there's look you're in central London there's nobody here there's something quite eerie about it I've been walking around the Olympic Park and sort of filming that as it's gone through this transition and you, you see the same thing here. I remember when East Village was like this and there was nobody there and it felt really strange, you know. And now, you know, there are some people there, not many, but there are some. Say so this part of King's Cross is in that similar sort of phase of transition when it's like a ghost town, like an eerie ghost town with just people sort of drifting through. But mostly the people here are working here building it. I mean, is it too obvious to say that these maybe are Blake's pillars of gold rising from the fields beneath Islington, between Islington and Marylebone, I think he says in the poem. These great tower blocks here are more valuable than gold now. I think this is uh, more or less the location of the kind of the famous bridge that was uh, notorious for its uh, street prostitutes and sex workers. A memorable scene in Mona Lisa with Bob Hoskins coming along in his car. This is the view the viewing platform looking down towards King's Cross Station. I feel now I need to go and visit St Pancras Old Church as a kind of sorbet to what I just experienced. Cleanse my palate so I can re-enter the world. The reference to the Boudicca myth. This is a reference to the Tolpanomates 
rally which went through this area. Beautiful frosty morning on Wanstead Flats. I'm just going to walk across the corner here but I wanted to share this with you because it's a glorious frozen winter wonderland. Look at it. 